Hey guys, how's it going? This is Bill again with uh, Hangar Rats, and today we are going to rebuild a Cessna fuel valve. This is off of Cessna 172. Pretty simple device, just some springs, balls, and O-rings. However, this one has been cracked in about 50 years. Uh, the problem we have on this one is that the uh, fuel will not shut off. So we're going to take this thing apart. Uh, I'm going to take some detailed pictures up close type stuff. So anyway, here we go. Um, in fact, what I'll do is I'll probably move to a uh, close-up view. And then we're using, instead of the bench vise, because uh, that's in the other shop, we're going to be using a uh, wood clamp. Um, that way we don't scratch anything. So that's the plan. Take it apart. And we're going to be installing a McFarland kit. This is a uh, McFarland fuel valve repair kit. This particular one is a FSO KT17. It includes roll pin, screw, ball, plug, uh, all that stuff. So this should be uh, pretty straightforward. Here we go. Okay guys, we'll go over the uh, kit from McFarland. So this is the uh, fuel selector kit. A uh, bunch of neat parts in it. Uh, we'll go over those parts and we'll show you what we're taking apart actually. This is the uh, ball and spring for the rotary uh, detent that's on the top plate. So you get the new ball and spring. You also get a, a roll pin for taking the block in and off. This is real common to the 100 series aircraft. You also get a new drain plug for the bottom. Very good. Paper or a uh, gasket for the top here you get two o-rings for the ball seats you get an o-ring for this fitting here you get two o-rings for the outer fittings there and then you also get an o-ring for the shaft up here on the top plate so pretty much every part you need even including new screws so those are the parts that are in the kit so let's get cracking okay here we go now i've pre-loosened these i've broken these loose in the other shop so just to so there's there's the way the valve works is there's a little cam here that pushes two balls which push on two other balls and offseat the main feed balls and allow allows fuel to come in from either the left tank or right tank or vice versa um, and then feed into the front of the airplane. So this is very similar to what you see on a 172 um, that kind of aircraft. So real similar. Uh, even the bird dogs and a lot of the other models have a valve just like this. So fuel comes in here, this offseats either one ball or the other ball, or you turn it around and it will offseat both balls. So this is a cam. It's through this plate here. It's held on. This particular uh, shaft is kept in by a roll pin. And then um, this is just a fitting. These two will have springs, should have, should have springs and balls under them, that kind of stuff. So let's take this thing apart. This is kind of the this is kind of the backwards way of uh, we won't assemble the valve this way. We're j I'm just taking it apart actually. So we got the four screws out. What I'll do is I'll take it apart, kind of in the reverse of what you would put it together. Whoa! Get back here. So this is just a fitting. This is an inlet fitting. It has an O-ring on it. That's this O-ring here. Okay. You see in here the little window. There's a little cam. We'll see that a little better. This is your other fitting, one of your feed fittings. And you've got a spring pushing the ball. There's an O-ring here. That's these O-rings. Here's a ball, one of your, your main upset balls. And then this is the one that, put, that actually rolls on the cam. Then there's an O-ring here. In fact, we can see that the O-ring here is out of its channel. So that's just, uh, that's no good. We'll just take it out, seeing as we're here. So that was one of the reasons why we had fuel coming out. Okay, we'll take the other end out. Same deal here. The problem with this valve is it would not shut off. Again, spring, cap. The cap has a O-ring on it. And then the two balls. Boom. And this, this uh, O-ring is also messed up. This thing, there's no way this thing is shut off. Again, at annual, we check the fuel valve and um, make sure that this thing is working, which it was not. In fact, that thing wants to just break. Get that O-ring out of there. Okay. Now this thing comes out nice and easy peasy. All this is an aluminum block with a plug in it. Gasket here, a little cork, this is an itty bitty cork gasket. And then we have the shaft with a cam on it. Now in here, there is an O-ring and then um, 
there's a spring and a ball for the detent. So we'll take this, go in the other shop, take that apart. Then this is all going to go into the uh, ultrasonic, and we'll come back to you after we get all this stuff cleaned up with the ultrasonic. Okay, we went next door and got the roll pin out. Uh, the roll pin goes on the uh, holds the uh, adapter for our, for the shaft onto the um, top plate. Comes through, pretty simple. I'll do some close-ups on this, but pretty simple. Um, there's a ball bearing and a spring that will probably go shooting across the shop. Don't worry, uh, the kit actually has some replacement parts, so you're in pretty good shape that way. Uh, this shaft can only go on one way easy, and that is on this particular installation with the cam or the, the lobe of the cam heading to the foot of the upper adapter. So it's uh, kind of stupid proof. Not stupid, maybe stupid resistant, but uh, these are going to be reused parts. The ball and spring will go into um, trash. Then on the shaft itself, there is a, let me get this cleaned up here. There's an O-ring that seals the top in here. <clears throat> so, um, again, seals the top like that. So there's an O-ring that's in the kit, and there's a washer, retaining washer, and whatnot. So that'll all come off. O-ring will go into scrap, and we'll reuse the washer. We'll clean this up with a little scotch bright. make sure all the bores are clean. We did have a little bit of a kerfluffle with the... We did have a little kerfluffle with the uh, block, the uh, body, in that the um, outflow nipple was... Uh, threads were galled, but we were able to... They were all only gold, galled on this, and um, we were able to clean up the block. So that, that's all set to go. Good to go. It's in the uh, uh, parts watcher, the ultrasonic right now. So that's what's going on there. Um, we do need another one of these nipples, and we need to have this before we assemble things. So this is the first thing that goes in. So we need to have this uh, in place. So we're gonna we're waiting on parts, and we'll see you in a little bit. Much later. Hey guys, how's it going? We're in the back of the shop again, um, and we're doing a fuel valve. For the uh, Cessna, I just got everything all cleaned up in the ultrasonic. Um, got all our parts laid out, and what I've got to do is uh, we're going to start putting this thing together. I've got the um, uh, close-up camera, so hopefully you'll be able to see some of that stuff. We'll mix it together. I've got a fan running. I've got the main mic on, which I was using before, but no fan. It's over 100 degrees in Texas here. This is an unair conditioned portion of the shop. So anyway. Here we go, we're going to uh, get the fuel valve put together and I'm gonna move that camera around, but uh, we should have the close-up so you can see what's going on in the middle here. Okay, doke, first things first. We're going to, uh, one thing we wanna do is we wanna get the axle in. This has all been cleaned up. Um, this, little is, this little axle thing is kind of stupid proof. Um, so anyway, it's, it basically goes in there. Its job is to push ball bearings out of the way. So we've gotta put it in. So. First things first, we're going to put a washer in, and now we're going to start cutting um, cutting the uh, bags open for the different O-rings. There it is there. And what we'll do is um, put this together. Now when you're putting this together, you're going to find out that there is a uh, in the 100 series service manual there is very little i'm putting a little dab o lube on this in the 100 series service manual is very little information if any uh, on the valve it tells you how to take it out and tell you how to put it back in put a little bit down here on the bottom too we're just putting a little just a little little bit of o lube stuff here Okay, so we're getting this in the shaft. Everything's turning nice. Cool, so that's good. Put that over there. Um, now we've got our shaft in. Next step, we need to put our top plate on. We've got the O-ring in, and that is the gasket. This is a cork gasket. Itty-bitty itty -bitty little gasket. Now this just sits there, no problem. Put it on dry. Pretty simple. Now, before I put that on, I'll show you. This is kind of stupid proof um, as far as putting the cover on. 
it kind of only goes on one way easy where the holes line up. So that gets you your orientation. This is your mounting bracket, rounding holes for your, um, for your valve in the aircraft. So we'll take that off. I'm going to put this in. Put this in. We have our O-ring in place. Everything's good. Bang, boom. Let's get it on the right way. Everything lines up. Okay, cool. I'm going to set that down for just a second. The nice thing is McFarlane gives you all of the screws you need right here. All brand new screws, so we don't need to reuse anything. Now I'm not putting these in with any Loctite or anything like that. I may do it later. I may come back, do a final cleanup and put a little, possibly the only thing I would put in is a little 242 um, blue, nothing red, but I can do that at a later, later date before I install it. So all we're doing is we're installing the four Phillips head screws. Snug. Snug, snug, snug. Okay, so now our shaft is in there, it turns nice and neat. Um, so we're in good shape there. So now we load, basically load each end. So what that's going to entail is putting an O-ring in the lower crevasse here, the lower land. And it's, can't, can't really see it, but I'm just gonna work it in here. Many unbearable hours later. Okay guys, we're back. I went next door, um, got a glass of ice water and I just kinda had to canoodle with this O-ring. This O-ring is just a, a real chore to get in. It's a real tight passage. Um, it's kinda neck down. So take your time, you can get it in there. It looks like it's too big, but it fits. So you just have to get it in there into this little chamber. Um, there's just a counterbore way down here. So just slowly working that. So anyway, I took the other ball out just because I was kind of kerfluffle there. So now, uh, put one ball in, put the big ball in, and then we're gonna put the cap on. I've got the O-ring on this one. I just took it off. Get that one tightened up. Good. Okay, same program as the other side. Small ball bearing, big ball bearing, spring in the cup. O-ring is on the, uh, already put that on. Get it all lined up. Tighten it up. Cool. Last piece to go on is this fitting here. The original fitting had a bunch of galling on it, so uh, we discarded that. Um, from Cessna, it's $300. It's actually an AN fitting. That's I had the end machined off, so that's what we're using. Works like a champ. Put that on. That's your main feed fitting. Good. Everything's set there. So that's all, that's basically your, your valve. Now, what we can do next is put the selector on. And again, that's kind of stupid proof. This is off center, this is off center. So it's all kind of stupid proof. The nice thing about the McFarlane kit is they give you a new ball, a new spring, and a new rolling or roll pin. So we'll put that in. there. Okay. Take the roll pin and the spring, or pardon me, the spring and the uh, ball. We'll do as well. Let's 
pretty well lined up with one of the detents. So, put the spring in this little fitting, put that on there like so. And then what we're going to do just for now we're just going to put this in we've got a drift in here now what happens is this spring and the ball action uh, that's your detent so that's your detent for your different selections but what that ball does in spring is it pulls the shaft up so that the o-ring seals against the top of this um, chamber the bottom of this plate here so that's why that's why you need that and you can all the detents feel good everything good there i'll go in the next door next door and put that in here in a little bit in the meantime i'll put the drain plug in and also mcfarland gives you a new drain pin or drain plug pardon me drain plug so that's kind of cool Now I'm using Teflon tape on this, and everyone out, I know everyone out there is going to say you can't use Teflon tape on an aircraft. Um, it's in 4313. Actually, 4313 says not to use pipe tape on flare fittings, if you read the whole paragraph. The trick, and there really isn't any trick, the safe way to do any kind of thread sealant is to not put it on the first thread. Now there's really no guidance from... Cessna on this. This is a little plug. But most importantly is keep that sealing away from the first thread. If you keep it away from the first thread, there's no way that sealant will ever get into the chamber. Then we just tighten it up. Boom. Okay. The only thing left is we need to safety wire this and we'll do that. Um, We'll do that here in just a sec, but uh, short of that, that is the assembly for the fuel valve. So it looks a whole lot better, everything works, um, so it's all good. Uh, we'll get this safety wired and then we are uh, pretty well done with this. We're pretty well done with this. I'll come back in just a sec and we'll put the, uh, I'll put the roll pin in. Okay guys, this is what the finished valve looks like. So action is great. Boom, boom. If you apply pressure to the side ports uh, you're not going to get any flow if you do apply pressure to here it'll try to check valve back through a little bit but if you apply pressure to this uh, you'll find that it you won't get any flow at all so this thing's 100 percent functional everything's good we have torque seal we've got our safety wire on it so that is a Cessna 100 series fuel valve um, pretty simple Simon to do again nothing really in the manual about this but you're just going to have to go on uh, general machine knowledge and your background. Uh, again, not for something an aircraft owner to do. This is something an aircraft mechanic needs to do. So looking great. Looks like a million bucks compared to what we had before. So anyway, this is the uh, fuel valve. Cessna 100 series. Don't be afraid of it. The hardest part on this is getting it out of the aircraft. It's a real chore. So anywho, till next time, that's it. Hangar how-tos. Hangar rats. Go fly yourself.